Well, well, well. Heads up, folks. Looks like the false flagaroonies are coming in for a landing. And you know what I'm talking about. Uh, just coming to find out now that, uh, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, I'll just call them negative interactions as of lately involving certain self-defense items. And uh, one in particular really caught my attention. And it's about, uh, we'll just call them young criminals that escaped from a, uh, a badly run facility, I'll call it, and uh, broke into somebody's home. And their home just so happened just so happened to have self-defense tools in it. Uh, the homeowners weren't there, and these youngsters, uh, apparently, although they've never used self-defense tools before in their lives, they all of a sudden knew how to use them. I mean, there's a lot of holes in the story, uh, come to find out. And I'm listening to this, um, I, I don't know if it's like a, a sheriff or a, or a police chief. I don't know who it is, but I'm listening to this. And as I'm listening to this, there's a lot of holes in the story. And uh, I think what they're going to do is um, maybe they won't do a massive uh, false flag a -rooney, And maybe they'll do a bunch of little false flag a -roonies, You know, so, um, you know, because they really remember what this is all about. This is all about pushing the snake bite on the population and they know they can't do that unless they attempt to uh try to disarm the population you know so you can't defend yourself but uh i, I don't see it working but you know they're still gonna try it of course they will because you know in in their new world order they can't have people that are uh uh able to withstand their uh, satanic edicts, you know, in other words, they can't have people that are willing to, willing and able to protect themselves adequately. So, you know, this all leads to a, uh, a fascist, uh, style police state or, you know, a communistic style also, you know, a, a Stalinist sort of a police state, but that's not the end game. You know, I already told everybody what the end game was. You know, if you'd like to, you know, look into that, you can go back and watch all my old videos from the last month. Um, but anyway, you know, back to this, you know, there's a bunch of false flag going on. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we're going to see some more, you know, because they're not going to stop until they achieve their aims. You know, and, and we know what their aims are. And, uh, of course, they're going to have other ones for other things, too. Uh, like they're cyber attacks that are going on as of lately, you know, there's going to be more of those because they're probably just testing their capabilities for when they uh, pull the plug on everything and shut down everything nationwide, maybe even worldwide, or at least in the Western world anyway, which also plays into Russia and China's hands, as does their attempt to uh, take away people's ability to defend themselves, which, you know, that only happens if people agree to cooperate with that. That is something I would never cooperate with. Because I'm not giving up my right to defend myself to a bunch of criminals. So, you know, all that being said, when we see all these things happening. And what, what really makes it interesting is that they're so desperate, desperate to push these snake bites on people. That they're even talking about in the state of West Virginia, they're talking about giving away custom hunting rifles. Well, ain't that something? Ain't that something? So on the one hand, they're using reverse psychology to try to push these abominations on people by giving them the one thing that they want to take away from people. And then on the other hand, they're trying to take these things away at the same time. It's just a... It looks like a confusing, jumbled-up mess, but don't ever forget what these people's real objective is, and it's to subjugate you, and they're going to try and subjugate you however they can 
be it with false flags or false flag aroonies, I should call them, uh, World War III, the centralization of power and everything else, and uh, the one world currency, the digital currency, which will be linked in with the five to the G and the beast link satellites and everything else. Um, and World War III, that's the cleansing event. That's what they're going to wipe the world clean with that'll leave only the ghost cities and the beast infrastructure and the beast farmland and everything else. That is their world remade. So everything you see is just incrementalism. It's just the boiling of the frog and the uh, proverbial pot. You know, they're slowly turning up the temperature. But at some point, you know, they will show their teeth. You know, they, they when they feel that they are in a position to be able to do that, they'll do it. You know, I, I, I see them doing it, and it's starting to get incrementally faster and faster as the time wears on. So, you know, be aware of all that. May Yeshua bless you all and keep you all always.